Hey guys, I am gonna go ahead and apologize. I don't know if you can hear that I feel a little stuffed up. I have some allergies going on. It may be a summer cold. Either way, I'm not feeling 100%. I don't sound 100%, but that's okay. It's just never fun to be sick when you're a mom. It's like, I don't like not feeling 100% because I have, you know, a pretty busy life. Kids, I always want to be on my A game. So when you're sick, it just really brings you down. But anyways, we'll, we'll move on. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day, your bu busy schedule to hang out with me. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three days of cleaning. I'm going to be doing some cleaning outside, doing some deep cleaning inside, and just cleaning all over, as well as sharing with you something that happened at our home and some damages we had inside of our home. So I'll be sharing with all of that with you guys today, answering some of your questions. So I hope you find this video motivating or maybe we're just hanging out like friends. So here I was doing, I don't know if I'd consider it deep cleaning, but um, I wasn't doing just the normal bedroom pickup and vacuum and dust like I typically do. I was cleaning the blinds, cleaning the windows and doors, wiping all of that down during nap time. And in my last video, I got a lot of comments about how you guys like seeing me clean with the girls and how great it was to see them cleaning. And I just want to be 100% honest with you. When I look back at that video, man, it looks so good. It was like a good cleaning day. The girls were helping. They weren't fighting. Um, everybody was happy. And unfortunately, that's not how it normally goes. Like, I think it was almost the perfect situation like everybody was happy nobody was fighting everybody was in good moods but typically there's always someone who's not in the best mood or one of the twins isn't listening or one gets bored and ventures off and gets into something that they shouldn't get into and the cleaning takes me a lot longer so most of the time i try to plan most of my cleaning during nap time so that's why you typically don't see me cleaning with my girls around because it is so chaotic, it takes me double the time, and it's almost just not worth it for me to clean when they're around. Um, of course, sometimes I still have to do that, but I just try to um, every week sit down, plan two to three days of where I'm cleaning during nap time, and I mean, there's a million other things I'd prefer to be doing during nap time, but it's worth it to me because I just... I hate cleaning when I keep getting interrupted. I just get more frustrated. It takes me double the time. So planning out a couple days a week where I can just clean uninterrupted is what I need. Um, so yeah. But stay tuned for some cleaning outside and I'm also going to sit down, we'll have a little chat story time of what happened over the 4th of July weekend inside of our home damages that we have and some things we're going to need to fix.
so here avery and i were cleaning up this was after dinner and then mike was downstairs with the twins playing with them while we were getting things cleaned up and then he was going to come up so they could have a snack and then he was going to take them upstairs to get a bath so you'll see that here in a minute but over on the youtube community tab i asked you guys for questions just so you know we can chat a little bit more um see what you guys want to know stories information answering questions all of that just so it's not always talking about cleaning and one of the top questions was what is a like what's my mom nighttime routine what do i like to do after the kids go to bed and you know it kind of varies there are some nights where i'm editing videos there are some nights where mike and i will sit down and watch a show honestly most nights he actually goes to the gym after the kids go to bed so you know he can be around in the evenings and then he waits till the kids go to bed so a lot of our time is spent together more on the weekends usually friday saturday and sunday now keep in mind we're home together all day every day because he still works from home so i mean i feel like even though it's not necessarily like fully quality time we're together pretty much 24 7 so i think right now having those times like more on the weekends it's it's good we're good um we get our time together but then um like during the week i think he goes to the gym and i just kind of go upstairs i love laying in my bed like i just i need time to myself i like to zone out whether i'm watching a tv show a netflix hulu um, reading a book listening to a book and i know this sounds so bad but i'm i'm sure a lot of you moms can totally relate but a lot of it is more just trying to get my mind off of like what do i need to do next like as moms i feel like you know we're always thinking one step ahead like okay what do we have this weekend what do i need to make for that cookout um whose birthday is coming up i need to get you know so and so a birthday present a birthday card like oh i need to add that to the grocery list like i need to submit the grocery list like all of that mental stuff that we take care of and sometimes i'm like i need something that's going to shut my mind off and not make me think about what i need to do so usually that's a tv show i've been really into more uh like netflix or hulu series because reality tv i love but at the same time sometimes it can be the same formula over and over and it's predictable it can be predictable and so i like dramas or series because you don't really know what's gonna happen like scripted uh tv because you don't really know what's gonna happen so going upstairs taking care of my nighttime skincare routine you know anti-aging uh making time for that and just laying in bed relaxing and even just listening to an audiobook i will do that too sometimes i think i get so um like if i'm on my computer a lot editing sometimes i like to just put on an audiobook and lay there and listen that is my nighttime routine very boring but all about relaxing and just trying to relax as much as i can So it is day two, I think that's what you're seeing of me cleaning. Mike has the girls um, running some errands so I can do some cleaning outside and I think it's supposed to storm so I'm trying to get this done before the storms roll in. So yeah, let's go outside and clean. Our garbage can kind of had a weird smell and I had noticed there was some food. I think it was actually some chicken stuck in here and I decided that I just needed to clean it out, power wash it. Luckily, the power washer makes it pretty easy to clean. There was a lot of stuff that was stuck in the bottom of the garbage can and it was just really stuck in there. I couldn't even pull it out. So I just blasted it with the power washer and that broke everything up. And then I squirted some Dawn dish soap in the bottom and kept power washing. And that's why I love the power washer because it pretty much does all of the work for me, especially on projects like this where 
I mean, I don't want to be climbing into a garbage can and scrubbing my garbage can. So here next, I was going to power wash the front porch and then I was going to clean the windows. Our front porch gets pretty dirty. I mean, obviously it's outside, but we live in a newer neighborhood that has a lot of new construction houses. And so there's just a lot of like dust from the new houses being built and there's a lot of fields around our neighborhood. So I just feel like everything kind of blows onto our front porch and it gets pretty dirty pretty quickly. So it's you know something i like to do maybe not monthly but at least every other couple of months So Mike and I are getting ready to go on vacation, Hilton Head, South Carolina. It is um, like when you're seeing this, it'll, we'll be leaving in a few days. We are so excited just because we were just talking that we haven't went on a vacation, um, just the two of us since, I mean, I our honeymoon. And I mean, we've got, we go away a lot, like for just a weekend. But like we've gone away for like a weekend, just us two, like locally, like maybe an hour away or two hours away at the most. But we have not like left the state for more than a couple of days, like more than a weekend, just the two of us in since our honeymoon. So that was 12 years ago. So we are ready, excited um, and just ready to relax. So yeah. I cannot wait for that. But one of the questions that I got um, when I asked questions on the YouTube community tab was what type of workouts are my favorite? Cardio, weightlifting, HIIT workouts. And I am sure if you guys have been following me, you know I like to work out and um, I create the time and you guys are always so sweet and give me compliments. Um, like. <laughs> Recently, I've gotten a lot of compliments on my legs, which is, you know what? I will take those compliments because I work really hard. You know, it's like one of those situations, like I was not blessed with like well-defined legs. Like I work really hard for my legs. And so just anything that you put in the effort and time to, you're like, yeah, you know what? I'll take that because I do, I do put in a lot of effort. Um, cardio is my favorite just because um, I actually love running and specifically because I just like putting on my headphones and going, you know, I don't have to think, I can let my mind go. And sometimes some of my best ideas, my best thoughts come from when I'm running and I just love a good sweat. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, cardio has always been my favorite just because I'm more, I also like hit workouts, but I'm kind of the type to where I just want to go really hard for a short period of time. Like I don't like yoga, even though I could definitely benefit from yoga. I don't really like yoga that much just because it's too slow paced for me. Like I want to go all out for like a shorter period of time. Um, but yeah, cardio is always my go-to and my favorite. And I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love running. Um, I do, sp I have a spin bike. So I do do that in the winter because I also have a treadmill. So I run in the winter, I do spin workouts, 
and then I also have the Open Fit app on my TV downstairs and the Peloton app um, where I'll do different types of workouts there, but I'll tell you that that's my least favorite. I don't like doing those as much. I like doing a spin workout or running. Like those are my go-tos. And sometimes I feel guilty, like I should be um, introducing more strength training. But when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm exercising, you know, like I think you got to find something you love. And if that's what's going to get you up and moving, then just do it. So running, spinning, uh, cardio. That's my jam. I like to get sweaty. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what I typically do. So I was giving this bathroom a really good cleaning. Our house was basically a mess because of the long weekend, 4th of July weekend. We just had fun. We had friends over. Kids were swimming out back. So there was a lot of coming in and out from the back door to this bathroom. There was grass in here. There was wet, a lot of wet bathing suits. And so I just wanted to give this a really good cleaning. Um, and I even noticed that there were a lot of marks on the walls. So I used the Zep foaming wall cleaner to really clean the walls in here and just give it a good cleaning. All right, so I am taking a little break and I am drinking, I don't know if you guys have a Kroger by you. I don't know if Kroger is a national grocery train chain, I believe. In other parts of the country, they're under different names, but I think it's all the same company. Anyways, if you have a Kroger, try these seltzers. They are Simple Truth Organic Seltzer Water. This is the strawberry watermelon. I've tried the mixed berry. There's a blueberry. They're all really good. So, taking a little break, drinking my seltzer water. I'm gonna fill you in what happened. This was on July 3rd and our dog Reese, she's never really had anxiety issues. She's never been scared before of fireworks or really storms. We have noticed um, that during storms she has been getting a little bit more anxious but nothing crazy but we're always home for the most part. Well on July 3rd we went to a baseball game. We took the whole family and when we came home the, our local town had the fireworks that had just happened. Um, and this happened because of the fireworks and honestly it's really hard for me to even tell you about this because my heart just breaks i almost don't want to think about it because it, it's just really sad um she was really scared and we just we weren't there for her and i feel bad but um the fireworks triggered her anxiety and now we know this and we can kind of tr take the steps so we can protect her as much as we possible walked in the door and I saw a couple of the outdoor stuff that we have tucked away that we keep outside when we're outside on the patio, but we don't keep it out there during um, like just every day in case it rains or whatever. So it was tucked th back there and all of that was scattered right when I walked in and I got a whiff of citronella, which I had a citronella torch, tabletop torch that she had gotten into. And then I walked in and turned the corner and saw all of that i saw the trim hanging off and there was a bunch of like drywall and dust and all of that laying on the ground and i was like oh she has never done anything like that i think one time as a puppy one time i can think of she chewed up a teddy bear one time we leave the kids toys out we leave you know like she always has access to the garbage can i mean she has access to everything she doesn't even eat food so like we are just i know that's unique and like we walked in and initially your first response is oh, what happened and then you get almost angry but then i'm like okay we can't be angry and immediately we went in to just comfort her and you know just focus on helping her um and so luckily i think in the grand scheme of things out of all of the things it could be it was something that wasn't too bad i mean it's something mike can fix Mike and his dad, as well as, you know, it wasn't like our brand new furniture. Like if it was our brand new furniture, I mean, not that we would have been, you know, like responded in anger at her, but it would be a lot more devastating if we had to spend thousands of dollars to get like another sectional or something, um, or new coffee table that was pretty expensive that we had saved up for. I mean, this is in the grand scheme of things, if something's gonna be um, damaged in your home, you know, something like the trim and the door frame, 
something we can work with, that we can deal with. Um, but yeah, so now the plan is just to get her some help and try to be here as much as we can when it storms. And I mean, obviously during the fireworks, we will just make sure we're home as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, poor Reese. And I just hope that we're home as much as we can be when it storms, we'll see. So I wanted to let you guys know because I knew you guys would notice some of the damages. Um, it was a late night. I think I was mopping at like 12.30 a.m. And I told Mike, I'm like, I don't know if I've ever mopped at 12.30 a.m. And he's like, I'm pretty sure you have. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, good point. So we, luckily it didn't take too long to get everything cleaned up. We got everything cleaned up that night. And you know, she's just been by her side for the past couple of days, which is to be expected. Luckily, fireworks seem to be pretty much around the 4th of July and it shouldn't continue, but it'll just be the storms we're gonna have to watch out for. And hopefully the vet will have some solutions as well. And if you guys have any solutions, let me know. But yeah, poor Reese. So definitely really, really sad, but like I said, she's okay now, she's fine. Like we were home on the 4th when fireworks were going off again and she was fine. So like if we're home for the most part, it helps, but you can tell she's still anxious. So we do have an appointment with the vet and hopefully that can help. But this was in the morning um, and I went in to wake up the girls. I was going to clean in there while they were cooped up in their crib because that's the best way. The easiest way to get stuff done is when they're cooped up. And I kind of have to laugh at some of these clips. You'll see when I was done putting the diapers away and cleaning up, I was vacuuming. And then you'll see Addison throwing everything out of the crib and making a mess. And I'm like, well, if that doesn't depict what mom life is like, you know, you're cleaning and then messes happen right after. Then yeah. Anyways, so um, I was here on day three. I was cleaning here in the morning and then we'd go around like about our normal morning then during nap time I was going going to do some more deep cleaning downstairs in the front room that's off of our living room and yeah I was going to clean in there I don't really clean in there too often but I was going to do that today So a lot of the houses in our development are the same layout and um, like every other house that I've been into, which is a lot, this front room is closed off and it's an office. So it has French doors right there by the front door. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like if you walked in from our front door, you look to your right, there's French doors. And then there's a wall that separates the living room from this front room. And to be honest with you, I wish we had an office because we need it. Mike and I, are share we share the upstairs office. And then I would like to have an additional room um, for the twins to have their own room when they get older if they want to separate, you know, but it's nice to have kind of a bigger living room, I guess, because we just kind of use it as an overflow living room and being able to store toys in here. But I don't like the furniture. Um, I don't really know what I want to do in here. I have some ideas. I'm kind of thinking like a way to... Um, nicely organized like cubes like in a nice like not what I have in the basement maybe like something a little bit nicer but I don't know like I don't want to do anything 
right now i'm not sure what i want to do so i'm just taking my time i think the original idea was this was a uh, dining room but we don't have the need for a dining room we, it would be wasted space wasted money on a table so yeah i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do in here but i don't show it very often because i don't like it i don't like the decorations we just kind of like throw like the decorations i just took some from the living room and threw them in here and I want to change the curtains and I don't know it's just not what what I want so I don't show it a lot but I felt like it was time to do some cleaning no one else you have a routine with your hair you hide your face but you're so pretty uh -huh. so let go of the things you But yeah, talking more about the front room, you know, it's hard. Like if you talk about, you know, showing your house on YouTube or showing your face, you know, like there's that level of here, I'll, I'll I guess I'll say it like this. Like if you walked into my house on a random Saturday afternoon and I'm cleaning, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to be a hot mess. Like hair's a mess, no makeup on, I don't wear makeup most days, but then at the same time, like, when you guys see me cleaning, I do put on makeup just a little bit because I'm putting myself out there to the world, you know, it's just like you would, if, if you're staying at home all day, you probably don't care what you look like, you don't care about your clothes or putting on makeup, but if you're going to go to the store, you're going to pull yourself somewhat together, and I guess I equate it to showing your life online like I put in a little bit of effort not that I want to be done up and when I'm cleaning because that's not realistic and you're just going to get sweaty but at the same time like you are putting your face out on the internet and I mean I'm not the most self-conscious person but I mean I don't I don't want to stare at my face <laughs> that's not you know that I don't know but it's, I kind of think the same thing about my house. Like, I don't like showing this front room because I don't love it. But at the same time, I don't want to go and just decorate it because I put my house on the internet and make YouTube videos. It's like, I don't love the furniture in my bedroom. I want different furniture. I don't love it. I don't like the black furniture, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm not going to go out and buy new furniture just because I don't like it. Um... And it's just hard because like if you think about it, like I'm sure a lot of you would understand that if you are putting your showing your house on the internet, you want it to look as nice as possible. And um, I know my house is nice. I'm not saying it's not, but I just the, the front room, like the furniture doesn't match the rest of the house. I don't like how it looks. Um, it's like cluttered. But at the same time, I don't know what I want to do. So I'm not going to rush out to decorate it just to do that just because I put my, you know, I show my house online. So anyways, I'm thinking I have some ideas, but we're taking it slow um, and we'll see what I do with it. Hopefully within the next couple of months.
If you guys want to see me cleaning up my parents' house, then make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications turned on because this is going up on Sunday, Thursday the 15th, July 15th. I'm going to be cleaning at my parents' house, doing a lot of cleaning over there, so make sure you don't miss it. It's just always fun to see cleaning in a different space. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check that out, make sure you have the notification bell turned on, which is right next to the sub subscribe button, so you don't miss it. I finished and I look like a hot mess. That's okay because when you look like a hot mess, that means you got some good cleaning done. Um, I can hear the twins, they're just talking, so I'm gonna let them talk. It's kind of cute because they'll play a little bit and chat back and forth, so I'm gonna let them chat <laughs> before they start crying. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you found it. I hope you found it entertaining, motivating, whatever it is. Thank you. I'm grateful for you guys. But stay tuned for a lot more. There will be a video on this Thursday, upcoming Thursday, July 15th. Um, I'll be cleaning at my parents' house, so stay tuned for that. So July 15th and then a new one on the following Sunday, like always. So lots of motivation coming up this week. So make sure you guys so make sure you're subscribed and you have the notifications turned on so you don't miss it. And I will see you guys Thursday. Bye.